What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English Beat. I'm Katya. As you may know, I love making videos on synonyms because they enrich our speech greatly and bring variety. So, in today's lesson, we're going to look at 15 ways to replace no. In some sample sentences, I let my imagination run wild. Are you ready? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook, open the section for expressions, and let's kick off. So the first alternative on my list today is no way. For example, would you like to go scuba diving with sharks? No way. Number two, we've got the American version of no way, which is no way Jose. So we add this name, Jose, and it sounds even funnier. Let's put it into an example sentence. I'm gonna go skydiving. Would you like to join in? No way, Jose. Count me out. The expression count me out means that you don't want to participate in some activity. Count me out. And if you want to participate, you would say count me in. Number three, absolutely not. For example, would you like to have a one-night stand? Absolutely not. Number four, we can also say certainly not. For example, would you stop working if you won the lottery? Certainly not. Number five, we can also say definitely not. An example sentence, would you do a runner? Definitely not. To do a runner means to leave a restaurant without paying. Our synonym number six, by no means. An example sentence, would you lend a lot of money to your friend? By no means. It's the best way to ruin a friendship. Number seven, you wish. For example, can you come to clean my house? You wish. I'm not your cleaning lady. And guys, before we continue and look at eight more synonyms to replace no, just a super quick reminder, please make sure you're subscribed to English Bits if you like my channel and make sure that your bell icon is on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. It's on Sundays at 12 p.m. Thank you. And now let's continue with our lesson number eight, fat chance. It means that something is unlikely to happen. For example, are you gonna get a pay rise? Fat chance. Number nine, no, not at all. It means, I don't mind. Let's put it into an example sentence. Do you mind if I stay at your place for a few days? No, not at all. Number 10, we've got a super useful expression, I'd love to, but. It's a polite way to reject an invitation. An example sentence, there is a party at the beach tomorrow. Would you like to come along? I'd love to, but I have to make this week's video. Who knows me? It must ring a bell. And now we're going to start with super funny expressions that I like so much. Number 11, in your dreams. An example sentence, can you give me a massage? In your dreams. I'm going to bed. I'm wiped out. Wiped out means exhausted. And now let's move on to our synonym number 12, not in a million years. For example, would you forgive infidelity? Not in a million years. 
number 13. This one is super funny. Not if you were the last person on earth, or we can also say not if you were the last man on earth. Let's put it into an example sentence. Would you like to go on a date with me? Not if you were the last man on earth. Tomorrow to go, number 14, the British expression and less common one, not on your nelly, which means that there is no possibility of that. For example, would you go on holiday with your in-laws? Not on your nelly. And last but not least, I wouldn't be caught dead plus ing. So someone wouldn't be caught dead means that someone dislikes something very much. And the last example, do you like these ultra short shorts? I wouldn't be caught dead wearing them. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this English bit and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you can think of more synonyms for no, please let me know in the comments below. And guys, I have two more lessons in line with this one and they are on synonyms to replace sure and I don't know. If you haven't seen them yet, you can find them right here. And of course, if you learned something new and enjoyed this lesson, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!